Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? In this video, I want to show you how I do, how I arrange, how I fix my guitar tool case. The case I bring with me, no matter what guitar I use. And this also includes some hacks. So, let's do this. <laughs> First of all, we have to figure out what I want to bring. The intention of this case is that I will bring this case no matter what guitar I bring. So I always have the tools I need when I'm out performing. So first of all, the case. The case itself, I chose this one. Plastic case, robust. And I can adjust the inside of it by pulling out this uh, square soft cubes. So that's what we're going to end up using. What do I need to bring? I need to bring a tuner. For changing strings. For cutting strings. I want a copo a slide, some picks, of course I need extra strings, a little bit of tape because, because tape, uh, a couple of short cables, just in case, maybe for the tuner, maybe if I have to change something out in the pedal board or something. A small multi-tool thing. Allen keys. So let's start with the hack. Because I'm playing both keyboard and guitar and violin, I need somewhere to store my picks. A few years ago, they were all over the place. I put them on my keyboard, uh, they were everywhere. A true story is that on a keyboard gig I had, one key didn't work on my keyboard. And that was because a pick had fallen down in my keyboard and, and under the key. So it didn't work. A couple of musician friends of mine that was on that gig made a laugh about it and still do, I think. So for my hack, I need somewhere to put my guitar stuff when I'm playing keyboard and violin. So what I'm going to need is an old beverage holder like this. A cup of some sort. I think it was hair products in this one. Not anymore though. I need a metal stick. I think this is from an old uh, coffee press that I just took the stick out of. And I need a bit of carpet. This is just a doormat from Ikea. I think it's 50 cents. And some paint and maybe some tape. And that's about it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these metal holders in about half. I'll come back to you and show you what I will do after that. Now I have cut the arms of the beverage holders and what I need to do now is that I'm going to place the stick somewhere around here. So I want to drill a hole in the bottom of the beverage holder and also two holes on each side of the stick on the arm like that. I also need to place this cup on the bottom of the beverage holder and drill a couple of holes through both of them. And then I'll show you what I do next.
Now I have drilled a few holes. I drilled one in the bottom and two on the side of the arm like that. I also drilled a couple of holes in the bottom of the cup and I put them there with the pop rivets. What I have to do now is to paint this. I'm gonna paint it matte black. And if you don't wanna watch paint dry, I'll get back to you when I've painted it. I'm just gonna cut some piece out of this, this carpet. So like that. I will show you what this is for in just a minute. So when we are waiting for the paint to dry, we can do a layout on the case. Uh, let's see what I want to bring. First of all, I just took this microphone case, microphone bag. Uh, this is for a microphone I only, I only use in my studio, so uh, it's fine. Uh, which I put a cable inside, a small multi-tool. I have these Allen keys. These are the ones I use for my guitars. And I just tape them together so they don't disappear. A cutter. And for changing strings. So let's wrap this up. I think I want this in the front of the case because the case easily tips over and I this is the thing I most rarely take out of the case so if it's there it will make the front end a little bit heavier okay now I see I get it I needed to modify this a little bit, but now hopefully it will go inside, which it does. So now what I'm gonna do, I've cut this out. I've painted my cup holder, as you can see. I'm just gonna glue this inside of the cup holder. Just some universal glue. So now I have something to put my picks when I change from my keyboard to my guitar and when I transport it I just put the lid on like that and now I'm gonna attach this stick uh, to the cup holder I only put a bolt on the top of it and I'm gonna put a bolt in the bottom as well I didn't paint this because I didn't think the paint would stick, so I didn't even try. That's good enough. And the two holes I drilled in this cup holder arm, just gonna put a cable tie. This is not going anywhere. Perfect. So, now I can put my picks inside. And the lid on. Perfect. I also have uh, made room for the things I want in the case, except for this cup holder, which will go somewhere around there. So there's my tool case. 
I will bring this every time I have a gig with guitar, uh, and it doesn't matter what guitar, if it's an acoustic or electric. I bring this and I have my picks and tuner and capo and slide and extra strings and some tools. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked uh, my idea. If you have uh, other ideas, please leave it in the comments. And the Swedish word of today is lim. Lim, which is glue in English. And Roger that.